Okay, so I was recording the challenge video and I realized I was using tools which I had not yet equipped you with. So what we're going to go and do is go over those tools. Those tools are Boolean logical operators and they provide a greater means of evaluating exp expressions and ultimately a fine-tuned controlling of flow control. So what are these tools? We have AND, we have OR, which can be represented as Oh, it's not letting me write it. So or you can write as or or double pipe and you can write as and or double and not as not or exclamation point. So how do we use these? Well, it's best for me to show you. So we'll set x equals to 1, y equals to 2. So we'll do if x equals 1 and y equals 2 puts both statements are true. Ah. <clears throat> Else puts both statements are false. So you can think of and almost as a function. You have the evaluation on the left and the evaluation on the right. What and does is it checks if both of those values are true and will return true. If both the values are false and will return false. If one of the values is false and the other is true and will still return false. So we'll run this. Yeah, both statements are true. This should actually read one statement. This should read one or both. Not going to correct my capitalization. Um, so what do we do? We'll change this to false. So this exclamation point is actually the not operator. We'll get into that later, but you already know how to use this from the last video. One or both statements are false. So and checks. This is true. This is false. Return false. We'll do this. Both, both statements are false. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll go over the or operator. If x equals 1 or y equals 2 puts at least one statement is true else puts both statements are false so what I forgot to explain in the last one so or takes and would we'll, we'll take in these two we we'll use and because we're not on or yet and we'll take in these two and it'll return true or false then the if we we'll use the true or false value provided to execute either this branch or this branch of code. So we'll change this to or. We'll do if. So or sees you take true. True, it'll evaluate the true. True or false still evaluates the true. False and false evaluates the false. So with or, only one of the values has to be true for or to, for or to return true. So we get at least one statement is true because both of these are true. And now we'll invert this statement using the not operator. And we will get at least one statement is true again because the or sees this is true and it still returns true. For or to return false, both statements have to be false. Now, this is the not operator, but alternatively, you can write not as not. So what does the not operator do? The not operator flips everything. So we'll try, we'll take this, we'll do a value. And we'll set this to a Boolean. So we'll do if value. So if not value, we'll do puts value is false, but statement executed as true. We'll do puts value. We'll do puts inverted value. Let's see, can I put a not statement in here? I think I can. Yeah, we'll do puts inverted not value. So we'll do else. We'll do puts value is true but statement executed as false 
and it executes as false because of the not operator. We'll see that in a second. So if the value put after not is true, not will take it in like a function and return false. So in the case of this, this code right here, we have our value which is true. So if not true, so if checks if this is this evaluates the true, but not takes the true value and returns false. So this block of code is going to be skipped, and we're going to get this code. So we see the value is true, which it is, but the statement executed is false because this is ultimately false because not reverses the boolean to false. Then we get we put our value, and we see that we do inverted not value and we get false. Alternatively we could do that. And now I'm just going to erase this not to confuse you and then we will do false and we'll get so the original value is false but the inverted is true so we get this line of code, this block of code executing. So although we have false, this is still executing because we put a not operator here, which turns false to true. Okay, that was pretty easy. Um, so next, what we're going to do is we are going to go over the, uh, the challenge I described in the last video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, Try the documentation, play around with this st stuff a little bit. I would try using not with or and and in combination with or and and. Um, yeah, just play around on your own. And then again, the challenge was to create a username and pa a function to check if username and password is correct, and also to take arguments from the command line as a bonus. So we will be doing that in the next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope that you learned a lot.